opportunity is seldom labeled. Are you looking for and seizing opportunity when it comes within your grasp? Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and we inspire. And I want to tell you a story today about looking at opportunity and seizing opportunity. And it's somewhat related to the story of this channel, Project Eli. I have a very close friend who is a writer. And he had been sending, not only to me, but several of the people that we are close friends with, uh, samples of what he does so that we could read them and just enjoy them. He wasn't necessarily asking for feedback or anything like that. So he would send those to me and I would read them and I would occasionally, you know, give a, a funny comment or, a, or like this was really good or something like that. Well, within the last, I don't know, year or so, he decided to stop doing that and to go on a platform for writers, for people that do what he does. And this particular platform costs five bucks to give you access to it, five bucks a month. And he asked me if I would do that, and I said, sure, I'd be happy to do that. I mean, here I am thinking, a creator, so to speak, making videos, and, you know, so I figured I would take a look and and contribute to him. He's a very, very close friend. Anyway, I start looking at his pieces on this platform and all of a sudden I notice that there are other people writing articles, okay? I mean, I went on the platform only to look at his particular writing. And then I saw that there were other people writing pieces on there. And it gave me the opportunity to get a new venue to see what younger people were thinking. I mean, we, you know, our channel is about success, and there's only so many different ways that you can say, you know, you have a vision, and feel yourself, see it, send the message out there. I mean, all the messages that I send here, uh, and there were so many of them. So my point is, there are other people, younger people, that are going through challenges and in their articles, they're writing about the challenges they face. I mean, there's a whole slew of different articles on everything from politics to fashion, but of course, I'm interested in the ones that are on personal development. So I start looking at these, and what did it do for me? Well, first of all, it gave me a different viewpoint than the one that I have, that I've had for years and years and years, and it also enabled me to hear the challenges that younger people are facing, and I found that they were, guess what, very similar to the challenges that I faced and people of my generation face and people of future generations are going to face. Only the techniques for solving them sometimes tend to change. So, and I'm comparing their solutions to my solutions and I'm comparing their language to my language. So this simple exercise of spending five bucks a month to look at my friend's writings, which are on all sorts of different things, not, uh, as a matter of fact, very seldom does he write anything on personal development. Okay, he makes comments. He comments on President Trump, he comments on sports, that's a big thing, is, is, you know, we're big sports guys. He comments on sports. So I read his articles and I enjoy them. They're very good. They, you, you can see in his writing the same charisma that you see when you speak with him in person. And that's kind of a hard thing to do in writing, but he does it very, very well. And the point is, I'm seeing other people, younger people, facing these same challenges and I'm coming up with the solutions that they're seeking and suggestions that they made for solutions and applying them to things that we talk about on Project Eli. So it's one of the most difficult things that there is when you're being a creator is to be creative is to find sources that spark new ideas, that give you different paradigms, that give you, di give you different ideas. 
by looking at this particular platform on a daily basis, I look at all these different articles in addition to looking at videos that I look at. I mean, I, I've talked to you about the 80-20 rule, where 20% of your results uh, comes from, you know, 80% of your results comes from 20% of your activity. Well, you have no idea how many articles I read and how many videos I watch before I see one that is pertinent to what we're talking about and not just, you know, useless words. And unfortunately, sometimes people do that. My point is, look for opportunity everywhere you go. That's what I did. And I did it by accident. And I did it because I had singleness of purpose that I wanted to find subjects to talk about on this channel. Does that make sense? Are you doing that with the things around you? Do you have tunnel vision on a particular objective? When you do, as we say, the things around you will start to connect with your particular burning desire. I found that in this platform and I'm looking always for other platforms, other writers, other people that are focusing on personal development. And because we'll never end a meeting on a philosophical note, keep your eyes open. Remember, opportunities are seldom labeled. You have to reach out and get them. So go out, get them and take charge. I'm Eli's dad.